Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Alfaro here and today we're going to do an examination for the tall boy, stalker, and hawker. But before I start the video, I just want to give a shout out to all the support I've been getting on my videos and on my live streams. Thank you very much and always, you know, share the video as much as you can because, you know, I'm trying to spread the word on Back for Blood. And if you enjoy these videos, always make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So let's start with the tall boy. On the top left, it says subject tall boy. Typically about 8 to 9 feet tall, skeletal structure looks stretched out and reinforced with the same hardened resin seen in other ridden spikes. Enlarged muscle around upper torso plus extra bone growth. Support structure for club arm. And it says large club arm. Upon dissection, the arm appears to be constructed of the flesh and bone of multiple individuals. Identify several human skulls within the mutated flesh. Identify several animal bones in the arm. Arm weighs about 350 pounds made up of dense fast twitch muscle fibers and bone and then at the top it says examination inflammation and shoulder joint vulnerability question mark and it says semi armored skin is tough and leathery can take a lot of punishment then on the right it says typical written features ralio complexion subdermal worm coils hairless glowing eyes shoulder and back extensive lattice work of dense muscle and bone mutations weakness the shoulder joint on the arm is a massive ball of inflamed tissue. The worms seem to have a hard time reinforcing the shoulder enough to support the weight of the appendage. Now let's move on to the stalker, offshoot mutation of the stinger. The top left it says notable differences. Unlike the stinger and hawker, this variant lacks projectile weapons. Skin is extremely tough, making it much harder to kill. Muscle tissue shows increased density, higher fast twitch fiber content, and fewer motor neurons. Very strong. Leaps onto victims, bites them, and drags them away. Where does it take them? Fluid sacs on scalp rather than the chest. Like the hawker, this mutation seems to be focused on coaction of sustenance for the horde, preferring to immobilize victims and take them to dot 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 ridden nest? Question mark? To do, get more information on the ridden nest, talk to Gardner, what have his scouts observed, collect nest tissue and fluid samples, find out if there are doctors or scientists in the other outposts, the clinic, stilts, and then on the top right it says are they gathering food or recruits? Perhaps both. Worm tubes route venom from sacs on the head down into the mouth. Gravity fed. The esophagus mutation persists in this variant but seems to have become vestigial, no discernible purpose. Uses upper teeth to latch onto victims. And then it has an arrow pointing at the shoulder saying thick hide. And another arrow pointing at its back saying extensive worm coil formations. And the last one we're going to do is the hawker. And it says large mucus sac projects enough to immobilize human sized targets. Mucus is caustic. Theory, holds and preserves victims for other ridden to consume. Bone structure is more mutated under skin. Flesh is more leathery. Then on the bottom left, it says similar to the stinger, structurally offshoot mutation. Stinger and variants always seem to be constructed from female victims. Why? On the left page at the bottom right, it says exposed mucus sac is vulnerable when possible. Aim for the sac. And now we're going to go to the right page. And on the top, it says spike formations thinner, sharper, and cover large areas. Flesh looks melted. Runaway bone growth, thin sharp spike formations. Worm coils more visible and numerous than common ridden. Seem to support and augment muscles. As you can see from these examination notes, the devil worm is not only creating special ridden, but it's also creating variants of those special ridden. And now we can confirm that there are other outposts out there besides Fort Hope. And most importantly, there's a ridden nest out there that we have not seen in the campaign yet or the trade. Trailers. So hopefully we dive into that when the real game comes out in October or get a sneak preview of it before the game releases. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Alfaro signing out.